Playing on Christmas Day is a huge accomplishment. It's a dream come true for me. You're one of the prime time teams. Everybody's in the house. Nobody's working because it's Christmas, so everybody's watching you play. To be a part of it, I'm you know blessed to be able to just play on Christmas, spend time with my family and teammates, and hopefully we can get a W. Getting a win on Christmas it makes the Christmas even better. We belong here, so hopefully many more Christmas Day games to come. He's a little slow in leaving the bench. It's almost like, you know, who's going to be the first in the ring? And we're not going to make any analogies to anything I'm sure that's going to happen. Both guys have already talked about that this week. And the Lakers are the first to come out. Both players are looking at this as, hey, I want to excel. I want my team to win the game. I want everything to go well. I want the crowd to love me to get it all done. Here comes Kobe out into the picture, and Shaq with a little elbow that never looked at him, looked right over the top of Kobe's head. Of course, Shaq has gotten to the point now he doesn't even really refer to Kobe by name. Into throwing the punch in the New Orleans game the other night, and Brian goes right to the lane and has it taken away. A screen and roll using Shaq in the zoo that he would challenge Shaq quite a bit today with the double teaming of Brian. League average with three pointers about 34%. There goes Shaq, and how do you stop him? Well, the only way you stop him is if the coach did not call his number out. And then on the fast break transition game, if the four perimeter guys do not pass him the ball. That's the one problem when you are going down inside and getting some more weight speed. It's O'Neal, and then O'Neal missed, got it back, puts it in. I want to tell you. The big fella's working. Mm -hmm. If you came in today and didn't touch his thought that this was another game for him, he is splitting the double teams, working the offensive block. O'Neal with a block as Mim trying to go to the hoop. Ryan Grant is in the game. Oh, oh. Kobe goes all the way to the hoop and runs into guess who? And uh, that's foul. That was an excellent move by Brian. Uh, Brian saw a hair of an opening. No chance for Mim. Well, he, he, he gave him a drop shoulder out to the right. And Mim Fate went for it. And as soon as he did, Shaq rolled baseline. A beautiful move. A move I've been watching here for the last eight seasons. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You knew that was coming. Yes, yes. That's the first time today. Cutting off the basket. Oh, yeah. You knew that was coming. Yes, yes. Works on Brian Grant. Foul. Now I know a lot of teams say, well, you can't front check. You can front check if you have good offside help. This is Damon Jones. Back turned around goes in. You can double team him, but if you give him that baseline turn, he's gonna shoot up over the top of you. And turn around. And this one goes with a little help. So twice now, O'Neal has made that move in school, right? But Leitner keeps it alive for the heat. Back to shoot. Anytime Shaq makes that move in the post corner, we have a two point of either Wade or Shaq. He has eight. There goes that one, and Shaq with the block. Good block, clean. Ten seconds on the shot clock now. Uh, Shaq made the game. O'Neal, three on the timer. Tied up. You gotta love it. The, the big fella has an incredible touch. Shooting 61% for the season. Shaq. Scoop shot. Oh. A little scoop by O'Neal, and that's 22 points for Shaquille. That was pretty good. Eddie Jones. As we see the Lakers and the Heat matching up on this holiday once again. Well, we have two of the most electrifying players in the game, Kobe Bryant, of course, and the Lakers. And Dwayne Wade, and the defending champion Miami Heat. Game where they felt comfortable taking plays and not saying Kobe Bell is out. Beautiful pass, Darrell Wright, and Wade goes back door. That's his first. And this is just good old-fashioned basketball. Two-hand bounce pass, back door play by Wade, and attacking like only Dwayne Wade can. away inside the right back three. 
over the Lakers defense. And then how about this spectacular pass behind the back? They both played against each other in the NBA and out coached for many years. His way he kicks it out. Darrell Wright. That's a two-pointer. Wade for three. That's good. And can you shoot a three-pointer? They say you can't do that. Well, you shut up, Mark Jackson. <laughs> Only Turiaf, the second-year player, getting some early minutes. Wade, his third block of the first quarter. He's now, he's saying to Louis Grail, hey, I got hit down the other end. Now, he had a career-high four blocks in their last game. Ball deflected by Peyton. And stolen by Wade. Here comes Wade. Inside. Wade, Wade puts the heat back up by eight. But this is just good basketball. Wade coming back, denying Kobe Bryant. Loose ball and then finishing. Not playing with the ball. Attacking. Not allowing Kobe Bryant to be a defendant. Defender on transition. Second steal by Wade to go along with three blocks. Working with the basketball, this was 30, 45 minutes, so we didn't have that type of those type of problems. Wade drives and puts it in. Wayne Wade now with 18. Wade, it's good. 20 for Wade. Reports of Dwayne Wade, the question mark, does he or does he not have the killer instinct? You can't win a championship, especially in the fashion that he did. He's finishing once again, breaking down the Laker defense. You can't do the things that he did last year in the playoff. This is just great basketball by Dwayne Wade. The ability to split the defense in the pick and roll gets into the seams, and he's a great finisher. If I pass, Kobe Bryant would be upset with Cook taking that shot, not giving the ball with Peyton on the block. Haslam, Udonis Haslam. Doliak, way contested shot, it's good. He said he got hit on the way down, well that's a tough shot. Concern of your Pat Riley, you are working extremely hard for shots and the Lakers are getting good looks on there. Way to Payton, that's a three. It's good, Gary Payton from downtown. Wade, oh, beautiful move. Wade, Wade puts the heat back up by a dozen. And then he says, I want to make sports center. I want to make sports center. Kobe Bryant inside a turn. Out blocked by Posey. Oh, terrific play for James Posey. That's how you get back in transition and contest shots. Gary Payton getting a hand in there. Then Posey block. And Wade finishes down the other end. And lead back up to 14, equaling the largest of the game for Miami. Maurice Evans is now on Wade. Wade, it's good. Largest lead of the game for the Heat. Winning has been a really important part of your family philosophy, and this week with Christmas, you've done a lot. Is there a moment? Wade spinning inside. Oh, Dwayne Wade, superb. Oh, excuse me, they call it a Capono. How about this move, Mike? I would be dizzy if I made this move. Not only does he put the spin move on him, but finishes over Maurice Evans off the glass. The bank was open. Of the team Wade, my brother's sister. You know, I can see a lot of tough times in Wade now with the steal. Ahead to Peyton. Peyton inside, banks it in. And the Heat go back up by 12. And Kobe Bryant, Bryant taking the challenge, trying to pick up Dwayne Wade full court. is just extra tough to try to defend this young man oh. because he's able to make plays. What a pass. And there's that decision making you talked about. Picks up his fourth. He's in midair, ready to take a shot at the last moment. Delivers the basketball on point to James Posey for the easy basket. At 7.30, so a terrific group coming up. There's Dwayne Wade putting on a show here this afternoon in Miami. Capono knocks it down again. Another three, and that will seal it. And if I'm Zaire, Dwayne Wade's kid, you don't have to get me anything for Christmas because I'm going to school and tell my friends my daddy's a bad man. <laughs> Capono, three big three-pointers here in the fourth quarter. As the Heat, a big win over the Lakers. Good help by Jeff. So active helping the double defenders. Wade will step back. Hit the three. Yeah, he's only 20% from there. Carlisle, who was coach at Indiana at that point, said he came in, boy, top one or two percent in terms of basketball ability. Close to seven feet, but really more of a finesse guy. This is Chalmers, second year player out of Kansas, still getting a lot of minutes. Expected at some point probably to get a starting position to bat. 
Bunch for a little more ability, a little more productivity as he comes up with an assist on a strong night on the shot clock for Miami. Wade using the screen. What a drive by Dwayne Wade. Chalmers comes up with a steal. Deflected it away. Wade comes up with a loose ball. Nice pass. Wade off to O'Neal. Seven ties and seven lead changes already in this game. Wade, some guys just seem to hang in the air longer than mere mortals. Last Miami game, this one may be low scoring. The last game they had was 32-30 over Utah at the half. Wade the steal and the lay. As Miami goes up by three. Stolen away by Arroyo. No look pass, Wade. Wade against the Nets at the wrong basket. You're basically building the foundation of Donald Walsh, and you're asking for a level of professionalism that... It's as high as 11, it's now down to six, the lead for Miami. Wade driving on the lead. Follows it up with the left hand. One of two for Hughes. That's a play Kobe specializes in. Yeah. It matters not how close the defender is, where the contest is. Breaking people's hearts. Shot clock at six. Haslam. The assist to Wade. <laughs> uh, remember, too, they had a lane violation that cost them a point earlier, so some mistakes costing the Knicks. Wayne Wade, the long jumper. Eight point deficit. 4.20 to go in the fourth. Wear out the clock a little bit, pull up to the jumper, and knock it down right in the face of Chandler. He gets it back. Fourth quarter, crunch time. The ball in his hands at all times. Splits the defense and jams. Well, Pat Riley, when it's counted most here on Christmas Day, Dwayne Wade has been every bit the lead mean scoring machine. Chandler giving him a cushion, so he pulls the trigger on the jump shot. But what is he known for? That explosive attack at the rim. Lollygagging out there for a second, and then that explosion to the rim. I mean, how pretty is this? Given the turnovers and the missed shots, down six with two and a half to play. Wade working on Chandler. Deep jumper is good. A year ago, he reestablished himself amongst the leagues of the league. Any foul the rest of the way, either way, will result in free throws. We go under a minute here at the Garden. Wade milking the clock. O'Neal from 17 gets the bounce. Wow. obviously is playing today, but he was telling us earlier that there is still some soreness in his left knee. Remember earlier this week, he banged knees with one of the Mavericks and didn't play on Thursday against the Suns in Phoenix. Yesterday at practice, he was telling me that he did practice, but there was still some swelling there. Today, he said the swelling went down a little bit. So as far as what he can and cannot do, he says he doesn't think mobility is going to be a factor, but he said early on, he's definitely going to concentrate on warming up that knee because he wants to make sure that it's loose. Mike? Well, he certainly wants to play, Lisa. And again, for the fans, this has been such an exciting game, so anticipated with these two teams. Sometimes the players try and downplay it a little bit because it really is just one of 82. But Mark, you know that they're fired up to play this game on Christmas Day. Trying to guard LeBron James. Wade on the pull-up. And again, Wade, after his slow start, and a lot of it had to do with injuries, really in the month of December has been superb. Bryant trying to swat it away from behind. Wade kicks it out to Bosch, knocks it down, and a foul! Chris Bosch emphatically with the dunk and a chance for a three-point play. Bosch the rebound, Arroyo pushing. The Miami Heat, they've won eight straight on the road. 10 and 5 overall in a row. As James knocks down the three, and they've got a two point lead. But if you just look at how they're passing the ball now, as compared to their first month of the season, it is so much more fluid, so little hesitation. Down in Miami, and many people delighting in their struggles, but they have really righted the ship. Bosch puts it in. Andrew Bynum set to check in for the Lakers. Shot clock down to four. James sees that, fires up the three, and nails it. 
And the Heat go up by seven. A 13 to two run. And the crowd a little quiet. Good job, what a luxury. You're struggling offensively, throw the ball into the paint area and get quality offense. Shot clock turned off. James puts it in. He's got eight points in the opening period. Coach, you've seen a lot. It's easy for teams to go the other way when things aren't going your way. Absolutely. I, I think what you said about a lot of that pressure was coming for his players as Bosch knocks down another shot. I didn't think they handled the, their answers. Too strong. Mario Chalmers, the backup point guard, who has played well since getting back in the rotation. That's been a big part of Miami's health with all the talk of the big three as Wade gets inside. Nice move from Dwayne Wade. The establishment of a center position to let Bosch play the power forward and the point guard. Where he can shoot rhythm and then spins off Pal Gasol, the strength to knock him back and the balance to rise straight up and down. Oh my. The three. Bill and Harney win. Puppet Artists. And hopefully we'll see a little shot of them. I think they're very. They look oh. <laughs> Make a puppet of him. <laughs> I mean, just under three minutes to go remaining in the first half. This is one of the highest scoring teams in the NBA. James nails the three. And the lead is back up to 12 for Miami. And again, another on-point pass from Dwayne Wade. Hot. Yeah. Man, this Staples Center crowd, boy, are they into this game. Bosch. Boy, Bosch looks exceptional today. You know when... A very interesting halftime feature. Our test all over James. Bosch from outside. Puts it in. 18 points for Chris Bosch. And James and our test will skirmish after the ball goes through the basket. Bosch again was excellent. He's guarded by Odom. Wade flips it up and in. At long stride. Well, people just do not know how good Dwayne Wade is. Well, especially for me, I watched him as a young young man play at St. John's University and also play high school basketball in New York City. And he's extremely proud of how far he's come. James knocks down the three. And a good three-point shooting continues for Miami. A lot of free throws by the Lakers. Now four of eight as Odom misses badly on the second. James grabs another rebound, his eighth. James powers in. Unstoppable. And it's a 16-point lead. And some anxiety here at the Staples Center. Under four minutes remaining. A very low-scoring game for the high-scoring Lakers. Wade, line drive. 18 for Wade. <laughs> James looking. Fires for three. That's good as the shot clock expires. The Heat this year have had a lead going into the fourth quarter on the road eight times as Bosch puts it in. They're 8-0. They've not surrendered that lead when they've led going into the fourth. Dampier coming to help. Bynum catches. He's stolen by James. His third steal. Wade can't finish. James right there on the follow. The second straight time at home. Concerns about his health, but hung in there, fought his way back, and finishing his career. Oh, loves to play. Bosch just out hustling the Lakers down there. A rematch of the 2011 NBA Finals as we start the shortened regular season. And just over six months ago, whereas Pat Riley has always said, it was misery for the Miami Heat as they fell short of their quest for a championship. Just two wins shy, but now they're ready to come back. We're the Mavericks, starting at the two guard. Carter's first shot blocked by Wade. It's usually the champion has the continuity. Miami has the continuity here as Kovitsky drives past Bosch. Marion poked away. Nice defense from Chalmers. And here comes Wade. And the defense from Miami. Carter's on Wade. Wade on the drive, reverse backer. Beautiful play from Wade. Vince Carter's a very good post defender. 
Good spin off the body by Wade and then uses the rim for protection. Impact the teams with the great wing defenders. And this is where Miami is the very best. Well, he's a, such a versatile player. Defends, posts, rebounds, and is great to a good start. Listen, Lamar Odom is a perfect fit for anybody. I think the Mavericks should be dropping down with one of their big guys, a paint catch, and a little bit of a left-hand jump hook. Listen, you don't need a great post move when you catch it with two feet deep. Was traded because he requested a trade as he drove to the rim and Bosch blocks it. In a way, being a great teammate, a great player, and, and then, you know, to see him finish it off was a, a great moment, Matt, if you're Dallas. Cardinal inside to Mahimi, knocked away by James. Such quick hands from the Heat defensively. Eight turnovers for Dallas. As James powers his way in and draws the foul. Was that when the villain part hurt him? I don't think that had anything to do with the results on the floor. Wade, the finish. Very few people can go to their weak hand and then split. Wade went left to right. Nice feed inside for Wade. Rifle pass. Nowitzki operating. Forces it blocked by Wade. The defense continues to impress. James. And the finish. Well, that's a nice looking fast break. To block it, bust out on the dribble, find James who touches it to Bosch. Tremendous fast break basketball. As James easily gets that jumper. Now I've never seen him take that shot in the post. I've seen him play with the his back to the basket, but never face up. This isn't the same team either. I, I think we have to stop with these stats. When you put both of those together, as Wade makes a very nice left-handed shot. Three later in the season. Marion poked away. Boy, Chalmers, quick hands. Wade releases, and another layup off a turnover. And Rick Carlisle not happy with the effort. Calls the timeout. 7-0 run, and now the new largest lead of the afternoon. Again, let's give total credit to Miami as James is just laser sharp right now to how ready they are. As Terry gets inside, the guy's not 100% conditioning-wise. When do you sit guys down, and when do you have them play through certain situations? Well, I don't know if there is a right or wrong answer. They've got to get some work in five on five. And Miami is just swarming defensively. Chalmers, alley up. James! Oh, what a play to Wade! It was defended well initially by Sean Marion, and James adjusted for another gorgeous assist. James touches it to Wade. Wade jump shot is good. Good. And even though he said he's going to put it behind him and likes where he is here, as James knocks down another shot, you as James hits another difficult shot. Then rebounds in 28 minutes. James spins, drives, hits, and fouls. James, 35 points now, Jeff. Wow, and just bowling ball. <laughs> just spinning off West body and then taking on the second defender. Momentarily quiets the crowd. I'm LeBron James of the Miami Heat, and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's time for Duck 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 New season, a new game, new personality type of team. Players, they want to do it. national TV, they want to come out and smash the other ball club and look good. And especially Oklahoma City, they want to keep riding high with their road wins. This evening in South Florida, 29 different All-Stars are in these five NBA Christmas Day games. And a boatload here between the Thunder and the Heat pick and rolls, and especially forcing the big time to score. Beautiful find by LeBron James to Dwayne Wade. over 20 turnovers a game.
aggressive and affecting Dwayne Wade, uh, Kevin Durant. So we know that the assists are up. The overall offensive game has not struggled at all. Braun attacks Stephanosa. Now this is just strong, group strength. If I shoot and miss, I'm going strong on the offensive play. It's a huge or small on the ground to start the second quarter. He misses. Get the back out to here. Mike. LeBron, Oklahoma City was running around, nobody tagged the MVP of the league in the finals last year, LeBron James. A lot of Miami shots, he's in front of the perimeter, only one free throw attempt. 15 of their 37 shots tonight have been threes. Eight was inside, turns over Durant for two. LeBron, over Ibaka. 14 for James. How about the ball play? You're open and you make it, you gotta make it perfect. Great play by LeBron. Good ball fake. It's five. With a minute 35 to go in this first half. Wade got Perkins in the air. LeBron on the attack to the top end. What? Now that was just a great play. How about this? I'm going strong. And I'm taking on the shot blocker, and I'm going to take his hit. Watch how he takes the hit. Right here, right here, he takes a strong hit. It was like Ibaka wasn't even there. He calls for the clear out. And once he takes his man, the shots have been there, okay? And then also the passes to the wide open man when he gets double team. That was right the first time. Ibaka has 11. On a new stat monitor for Christmas. James, 19 points. A great first half for LeBron. Yeah, he doesn't care. The two jerseys retired here. Played for the Heat Chip Hardaway jersey. Also hangs during the American Airlines Arena. Good job out of the timeout. Boss to LeBron James. Now year six in the league. If you said the first half, that resume of experience and doing it under pressure. As James hits over Durant. This is a standoff. You have no idea whether I'm going to take you off the dribble, whether I'm going to shoot the jumper. But watch when you make that fake. As soon as you get that jam step, player steps back, you take the shot. No Kevin Durant to start the fourth quarter. Oklahoma City, 21-5. Best record in the league is Dwayne Wade knocks down just his sixth three-pointer of the season. It was Brook and Durant out there with three substitutes. So we're on the subs gave him 17 points. And Wade gets up quick. And throws it down. And Baca now gets James on this trip. That puts a lot of pressure on Westbrook and Durant to handle the basketball, make good decisions, and cut down on the turnover in every major game now. LeBron gets Perkins. He clears space. He wants to take Hendricks. He'll take a deep two with a toe on a tape. LeBron knock it down. <laughs> Screen for Wade on the switch. Trying to get it back to James. Guarded by Westbrook. The clock's at six. Perkins is helping. Oh. And is free. Pulls it up. How about that? LeBron saw that all the way. As soon as Perkins came across the lane to zone the area, Bosch went right to the front of the rim. Watch, watch, watch to the right of the screen. There it is. But it was all set up by LeBron. Miami does not have a timeout. LeBron trying to deny Durant. Martin's got to get it in quick. He does to Westbrook. Uh, uh, and to Durant, they don't need a three, steps back, he takes a three, off the rim, no, it's rebounded by Perkins, saved by Westbrook, three for the tie, is off, Perkins tied for a foul, not getting it, and Martin fouls Bosch with 1.4 to go. Westbrook felt like he was knocked down, instead of going for the rebound, Kendrick Perkins went to 
can plead to the official Tony Brown. And Westbrook slammed the scorer's table on the near side as we called for a technical foul. This Heat team that won two of the NBA Finals games by six get the Christmas Day rematch here in South Florida by six as well. NBA Christmas special from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Two of the marquee franchises in the league continue this great Christmas tradition. Wayne Wade managing his knee injury. Here is Wade. Did not play the last game, but comes back impressively here. He's coming off a player of the week. The Lakers doing what you said at the beginning, Jeff. The need to hit outside shots. Three threes as their six for ten opening. James, too much. Wesley Johnson, no chance down there. I mean, on the first or second dribble, as he backs in, you've got to be given some support. Three dribbles, four dribbles, five, and then just finishes right. And this is good defense by Johnson, swimming in front. Mike D'Antoni's system, from an offensive standpoint, truly really maximizes players' ability. In transition, Wade finds James! Put it under your Christmas tree. Well, if you're Nick Young, you know they're going to lob it to James. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Every GM needs that. Well, they really do. And I, I think it's a well-constructed roster. Great block by Gasol. Oh, Fox gets the punch back. For two minutes for Chris Bosch here. Well, nice block by Gasol. Good second effort by Chris Bosch and after a slow start. Johnson missed the three. The shooting percentage down in the second. Wade looking for the return to the floor. Off the window and down. What if he had to read the way it was going? Had to come back with the left hand. Said. Wade to James, part three. And a timeout called by the Lakers. And the only fans on LeBron for hanging on the rim. And only two field goals. Now, is this is not a good matchup right now? They would be better off with Bill Cowher guarding LeBron James in this situation. Kelly gets the foul, and James the chance for the three-point play. Well, this is just not fair, and Jody Meeks has to give more than an arm help. He's got to move his whole body in front. And, and that's the predicament James puts you in, though. Because he's such a great and unwilling passer, the more you help, the more it opens up the three-point shot. Wesley Johnson and Nick Young have got to come up with that play. James with the air, Wade on the cut, beautiful reverse by Wade! Who knows how often we'll see them go head-to-head -head again. Kobe not likely to be back for the January 23rd meeting in Miami when the Lakers are on their Grammy trip. For D. Wade as well. The back end of a six-point heat win. Jeff Heather and I will be back in Los Angeles in a moment. There is something, Heather, about this group. We get a chance to be around a lot of championship teams in different sports. And there's great camaraderie, lack of selfishness, and giving amongst this group. Takeaway of all this is how classy Miami has handled losing him in free agency. From the top all the way to the players. LeBron showing love all throughout the floor. And obviously certain players, especially his close friend Dwayne Wade. Wade got a piece of it. Thomas with another nice pass. And the crowd seemed to be a little extra excited when James turns it over as Wade knocks down another. Goes to Wade. Wade for the layup. Hole to the basket. Oh, thrown down by Wade. Have we 
seen that in his 12 year career. Uh, Cole on the drive. Left handed. Flips it up and in. Wade steps back. And it's a three. Wade. Wade for three. Bang! Point lead. Wade's jump shot is good. Chance for a three point play. James drives, finds Love, blocked from behind. Wade to the basket, banks it in. Seven straight Christmas games, 10 and 2 all time. Best record for any team on Christmas. And our Christmas Day slate 2020 is underway. And John out of game number two, Miami hoping for two things fewer turnovers and more of these, more threes. It starts with a Duncan Robinson kaboom. And, and long Brandon Ingram. Ingram already has six points for the Pelicans, his hero in dribble drives. Robinson hoist for three. Kaboom! You see Dragic from the left side cutting down the middle, impressed with the young guy's maturity. Duncan from downtown. Kaboom! Nick on the move for a two. And the rebound comes down to Bam. His first rebound. Robinson in transition. Kaboom! Lead open the quarter with Bam, Dragic, Nadala, Robinson, and Avery Bradley, who cuts back door and finds Robinson. Kaboom! Oh, nice choice. Good ball movement. They with 32 points in this quarter already. Their highest scoring quarter of this young season. Robinson rips it from three. Hawkins have cut the heat lead to 10. Under a minute left, third quarter. Robinson from downtown. Kaboom. First shot, a three for Robinson. Got it to go. Robinson hoist for three. Kaboom. Robinson's quick release. Three. Got it to go. Robinson left alone again, you bet! Duncan for three, got another one! Robinson <laughs> hits another three. Duncan Robinson ties a Christmas Day record with seven made threes. 